Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about one of the special orchids in my collection. It is none other than Meldonia Morleana. I purchased this orchid last month. I uh, made an orchid haul, a couple of orchid hauls last winter uh, to expand my orchid collection. And the, the flower of this plant caught my attention. It is one of my eBay purchases. I like the color of the flower and I went ahead and I ordered this plant. It When it was delivered, it was very uh, cold in Dallas. And when I opened the box, to my surprise, there are almost, you see, this plant is flooded with new growths. All of them are pseudobulbs. I counted, e I counted them and there are 14 pseudobulbs, 14 new pseudobulbs for this plant. Quite insane, isn't it? I know Oncidium, this is an Oncidium intergeneric hybrid. Maybe it's, um, it's it, this is a hybrid, it's not a, this is a species, but this is a hybrid. Huh. See, there are 14 mature, not, so, I'm sorry, there are 14 new growths and almost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mature pseudobulbs and 14 new growths. Well, I watered it just a while ago. I have to keep a close tab on the sphagnum moss just to make sure whenever it goes out dry, I have to feed this plant very regularly and uh, water it thoroughly. Because I'm, I have fried these pseudobulbs may not have enough resources to support these these bunch of new growths <laughs> this orchid with 14 children just imagine the demands of this guy in the spot sitting in the spot i put him on uh, him or her no matter i put this plant on my south facing windowsill it receives dappled light but maybe I would uh, slowly, once the spring break out, I would slowly expose it to brighter conditions. And I have high hopes on this plant because you see, there are 14 pseudo bulbs. If every new growth comes out perfectly and if every new growth blooms, it would be 28 spikes. Holy hell. Even if it blooms half of it i would see like 13 or 14 spikes at least 10 spikes on this guy who knows exciting days ahead i would keep a very very close tab on this guy and i will keep regular updates maybe one or an update every month for this guy and let's see how he progresses if i am able to uh, uh, do justice for this guy and by the way this guy did justice to his name. He is Morliana. There are more uh, new growths. Uh, the, my canary, I, I put next to my canary cage and he took a bit of a beating. My canary has uh, ripped these two leaves, poor guy. And I have to, as I told you, I have to keep a very, very close eye on this guy. And once again, guys, if you find any Miltonia Morliana and even if your specimen or even if your plant gives too many young pseudobulbs like this, let me know. I'm not sure if this is uh, really the trait for this variety or if it, I'm just lucky enough. Or maybe there could be some cultural reasons like the pseudobulbs are, uh, uh, might have uh, uh, dried out and this plant may think like it has to reproduce as it is losing its mature pseudobulbs. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just uh, I'm just thinking out loud, thinking out crazily, assuming a lot of things. Anyways, this is for you. This is my uh, new superstar, currently superstar in the making, currently. And watch out uh, the space for more updates for him. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.